Hey guys, this is Scott with Texas Archery. One of the things we, we, we get the opportunity to do here is hear all these hunting stories, and some of them are really fun to listen to. That's why we've kind of started this series. I've asked Evan to come and talk about his African hunt that he just went on. What an amazing experience. Yeah. Um, tell me, let's, let's just start from the beginning. What, how did you prep for that hunt? So it was kind of a long process, both beyond the actual archery point of it and the travel itself with COVID and all those things, it was up and down. We've been planning it for a while and you know, it's on, it's off, it's delayed, it's things like that, passport issues. I literally got my passport the day before and wow. I flew out. Wow. I was this close to canceling the flight. So all that out of the way, the bow is itself, what I've been doing with you guys is I've got my VXR 28, and before this hunt with, you know, predominantly I shoot a lot of hogs around Texas, but understanding that African animals are probably even tougher than that is went ahead and upgraded my draw weight. So I'm up to 77 pounds now. We switched the mods out on that and Raymond helped me out and get it set up to make sure I was shooting the correct poundage to also go with heavier arrows. Okay. Um, switched to fixed fix head broadheads. Um, and just wanted to make sure everything was as solid and effective as possible. So I was prepared for anything. Right. So what site were you, what site are you using? Uh, I've got the Excel site, uh, single pin, and that I've been using for a while with the Zebro sight light, which I ended up needing the first night. So um, aside from that, really, I, I didn't change anything else specifically for this. Okay. Uh, it's been how you know I've been shooting and been kind of adapting since I got it a couple years ago so I see that you're shooting the perfect uh, thumb button yep um, how long have you been shooting that release uh, maybe about a year now maybe not okay. quite I got that here as well and uh, just kind of got used to it with anchor point and things like that it's uh, not having it flapping around on my wrist and stuff was kind of a big thing for hunting specifically so yeah I've, I've been liking that okay so you you, you get to Africa uh, your first Finally. night yeah. What was that? Finally made it. Yeah. Finally After made it. That's right. Obstacles. That's right. And uh, so you're, you're, you go hunt that first day. What, 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 what were you hunting for? So we had three animals on our list. Basically, it was warthog, wildebeest, and impala. And I was there with a group of people from Pennsylvania as well. We actually won a portion of the trip through a bow hunters of America Facebook page. Okay. And so that was kind of the thing. So we met up with those guys, met them for the first time, and everything. And we were sitting in the blind the first night. Uh, and everything over there is much different. If, if it's a ground blind, it means it's buried in the ground. You're you're three feet deep, basically to the height of the countertops, and you know you're you're at foot level of all these giant animals. Okay. So uh, that's how the first night started. It was two hunters and the PH. We were in this cave-like blind and just watching these animals all day. So yeah. That, that's how it started the first night. We were able to get there early enough to get a good sit in that first night after flying in, and and uh, everything went from there. Tell me what 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 poked its head out. Well, so that first night, I I was just happy to be sitting in a blind looking at all these awesome animals because okay. we just got there. I mean, we're seeing kudu, eland, water buck, impala, warthogs. I mean, almost it seemed like one of everything walked by to the water holes. So that was cool enough. I was happy. I I didn't go for any specific trophies. I was there to experience it, and if I got these three animals or a combination or whatever, I was going to be happy. Uh, so we're sitting there and at last light, you know, we had already made the decision that if something came out, it was going to be me first. So, because the other hunter was there as well. And so we're sitting there, nothing really that was on our list came out, you know, some really cool stuff to watch. And at last light, a wildebeest comes out just by itself comes out on the left, I'm sitting on the left side, so I've got to adjust myself, try to move my chair over to where I can see it. Uh, it's relatively dark, I've turned my sight light off, it's at about 40 yards, it comes, it drinks in the water hole behind the water buck, pushes them off, turns around and goes to walk right back out. It's there for like 30 seconds. The pH whistles at it, gets it to stop, I draw back, anchor, and I'm like, my pin's right on it, right where it needs to be, something's not right re-anchor and I'm like no still feels good okay here we go shot it that thing took off like crazy and just sand and dust everywhere wow and yeah that was uh the first thing I've shot that isn't the hog <laughs> yeah I, I can't even imagine what it felt like it was crazy at full draw like with you letting down and pulling back I know you, yeah the adrenaline had to be 
something. It Unbelievable. Was, it was, uh, yeah, is when you set it on there and you're like, okay, I think this is it. It looks good. Take that last deep breath and then sling it. Nice. All right, so so that was the first night. You shot that the first night. Yeah. Wow. So then the next day, and it was just two of us. We're sitting there, same thing, watching cool animals come in, drink water, things like that. And uh, so now we've got a wildebeest, so it's an impala and a warthog is kind of the top of the list. And we'd seen some uh, impala females and young ones and things like that. And I saw, we were just talking, just, you know, getting to know the guy. And a couple of them pop out in this middle window that I can see. And I'm like, oh, there's a couple. So we lower our voices and we wait and all a couple more. And I look over out the right window behind him and it's an entire herd coming in of Impala. And so we let him come in, we make sure there's a couple good ones. There's a couple good rams and then there's one with the skew horn. Its horn is like just completely sideways. So it's like, okay, that looks like a good one. I picked the one that, that we were gonna go with. He's like, yeah, that's good. Now the problem is they're only about 15 yards away. And this was my most nerve wracking animal on the list because I've never even shot a whitetail. So I'm thinking like, oh my God, they're gonna jump the string. I gotta worry about this and compensate right, right. for that. Luckily they were really close, but the problem with that is they come in as a herd. So there was like 20 of them. And there's, you know, four females, five females in front of it, and then a couple more behind it. And I'm trying to account for that and get it perfectly right. So I punched the trigger, I won't lie. As soon as there, <laughs> as soon as there was an opening, I sent it. And uh, I was just relieved. I, I got perfect camera footage. We knew it was a perfect shot. The other tracker arrived and we found it. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw the pictures, amazing how how high that thing jumped. Yeah, yeah. That was amazing. Um, and that, the, the, I guess the experience there, you know, you, you had those two kills, um, and then the, the, the amount of animals that came in that oh, you yeah. got to see, it's, yeah. it was like a zoo, right? Oh yeah, stuff that like people go over there and that's, that's what they want, you know, that's a trophy size, like amazing animal, and that's, not exactly why I went over there. Obviously, it's extremely expensive. Some of those animals, but um, uh, more. I just went to experience it, and you know, if we decide to go back one day, maybe we will. But, but so it was just really cool to me to see them, see yeah. them come in and just not know we're there, just be natural, drink their water, chase each other around, stuff like that. Yeah, amazing. Thank you, Evan, for coming in. Thanks for showing up, coming to and being on our show. Um, really enjoyed it. Thanks, guys, for listening in.